Well, our vision is the development of EU. EU for us is the natural and logical framework for the European integration. Uh, we need to improve in several areas. The most important one is security and defense, but also the regulation of migration, economic prosperity, and of course the rule of law, because the rule of law is the basic value for all the Europeans. Well, we are uh, against uh, the double speed, but uh, we consider that uh, the idea of uh, multiple speeds can be a good idea, because some of us uh, belong to the Eurozone and want to belong, some of us don't belong to the Eurozone and don't want to belong, and some of us are preparing to um, participate um, in the next fu future in the Eurozone. Uh, some of us are united in terms of mobility um, within the Schengen area, others don't want uh, that advancement. So, uh, Europe is made of diversity and this diversity is a factor of enrichment of our continent. That said, the most important is not to exclude anyone. So, country A must, uh, can uh, not want to proceed in uh, this track of integration that we are developing, but no country must be excluded. So, it's uh, a question of, uh, nation of uh, choice for of, uh, any of our countries and not a uh, question of exclusion. Okay. This is really what matters. Uh, we are not uh, that uh, confident in uh, institutional debates. Uh, we think that uh, we have more demanding um, things to do. We have more demanding challenges and we, have, we must address these challenges within the current architecture. Because, you know, institutional debates have its their own, um, uh, let's say, uh, pace, uh, they have their, their own uh, difficulties, and uh, the risk of paralyzing Europe with an institutional debate is a, a, a very important risk that we must avoid. So, let's work in order to solve our problems within the current European architecture. Well, it uh, depends. Of course, we have a very strong relationship with our closest neighbor, Spain, because one of the outcomes of the simultaneous European integration of Portugal and Spain in uh, 1986 was the increasing of economic integration between the two countries. So Spain uh, for us is our most important client and our first uh, supplier. And besides that we have a good bilateral relationship that are independent of the orientation of the government in office. But um, we have also a very good relationship with all the southern countries uh, in Europe. We belong to this uh, informal network we call uh, the MET7, um, uh, grouping uh, Portugal, Spain, France, Italy, Malta, Cyprus and Greece. Um, but we have also a very close relationship with Germany. Uh, we think that uh, the German role in Europe is capital. Uh, we also praise for the good health of the so-called Franco-German axis, and we try to have good relationships with the Atlantic nations in Europe, uh, from uh, Ireland to Denmark. Well, the first, the, the most important for me uh, is uh, concerning Brexit. 
We have the very convergent interests, uh, we, Ireland and uh, Portugal, and one of our uh, major national interests is a good relationship post-Brexit with the United Kingdom. So we both want the smoothest Brexit as possible and uh, we want uh, good uh, economic agreements between uh, UK and Europe uh, post-2019. Uh, so I think in this uh, area there is a almost perfect alignment between our two countries. Besides that, we, we look um, with, uh, in, a, in, a, in an interesting uh, way the attention Ireland is paying to Africa. Uh, Ireland is right in paying more and more attention to Africa and of course as a European country with a strong historical relations with Africa we praise very much this Irish position and uh, Portugal and uh, Ireland being uh, European Atlantic countries have also um, a very uh, key interest in preserving the good relationship between Europe and the United States. So no war trades, no disalignment uh, on the country. We need to reinforce the ties, the very deep ties between Europeans and the North Americans.